AMC. Wow, this stock has been on a tear up almost 3000% for the year. Now, yesterday, the stock doubled in value. So everybody and his grandmother is talking about AMC, but there's a lot of conflicting information out there. So in this video, we will talk about the nine most important questions. Number one, why is AMC stock so high right now? Number two, who is buying AMC stock? Number three, did AMC sell more shares? Number four, what is the highest AMC stock has been? Number five, can AMC really hit 100,000? Number six, is AMC a good buy? Number seven, is the company AMC losing money? And number eight, will they go out of business? And what everybody wants to know, number nine, will AMC go up tomorrow? So as you can see, a lot to cover here. And this video will cover all of these questions and more, as well as give you some insights into what I am doing right now. Well, I'm sure that you heard the news. Defying all forms of fundamental analysis and business logic, AMC once again is skyrocketing higher. Look at this. AMC is up 200% since last week and almost 3,000% since the beginning of the year. Now, this is another coordinated short squeeze event by retail investors, especially the users of the Reddit forum, Wall Street Bets, or apes, as they call themselves. So let's just go back here for a moment and let's take a look at AMC in January, because this is when it first happened. Back in January, AMC and fellow meme stop GameStop were the focus of an attack on institution and hedge funds that held substantial short positions in these stocks. Now, being short means that you are betting on falling prices. This is where several hedge funds and famous short sellers were short here. So a short squeeze, and this is important, this short squeeze occurs when the price of a stock climbs and goes against the short position, forcing the short sellers to buy therefore to cover their position. Now, when a stock has an unusually high short percentage like AMC and GameStop, private investors or investors in general can actually force the price to go higher by buying up shares at the current price. And from there, it's simple economics. The supply of shares falls as the demand increases, driving the price of the stock higher. And this is where we see what happened here from $2 to $20 in a matter of days. The question is, how much have short sellers lost thus far on AMC? And this is where we need to go back to the current day, past forward. Yesterday, on June 1st, this is when AMC skyrocketed 95%. And yesterday, short sellers who were betting against AMC lost 2.8% billion dollars, bringing their year-to-date losses to more than five billion dollars. And this is according to a company that's called S3 Partners that is tracking all of this. The idea of short squeezing these stocks was fueled on social media. Pretty sure that you heard it. There is this Reddit subforum, Wall Street Bets. Wall Street Bets made AMC and GameStop its darlings. Along the way has amassed an army of, they call themselves Abe, numbering over 10 million, actually here they say, degenerates. They have been buying it up. You see, since then, the hashtag SqueezeAMD has been trending all over the internet. The daily trading volume for AMC has stopped 650 million shares. Let's just bring up the volume here so that you see how high the volume is here actually. Look at this. This is just crazy. This means that retail investors are all in. So why is this stock so high? Well, this is where Mark Twain once said, history does not repeat itself, but it often rhymes. And you see, AMC and GameStop are once again being squeezed by Wall Street bets and other traders that are growing sick and tired of the market manipulation by institution and hedge funds. Now, there are other catalysts as well, though. 
including the great reopening following the pandemic because AMC operates nearly a thousand movie theaters around the world and announced that all of its US locations are back open following an aggressive vaccine rollout. That's what you know. Now, early indications from both the Easter and also the Memorial Day long weekends. This is where you can see that movie fans are ready to return to theaters. And we're also nearing the summer blockbuster season that we'll see the return of some big name movies like Space Jam 2 and F9, the latest Fast and Furious movie, and the Suicide Squad sequel. So let's go back to who right now is buying AMC stock. And you see this is where AMC CEO Adam Aaron is a genius because he has been hitting all the right notes with investors. So here are just a few examples. The CEO Aaron famously announced that AMC Entertainment, as you can see here, plans to reward retail investors with free popcorn and exclusive screening. <laughs> this is just one example. Another example is that he said, we are under attack by the short sellers, which served as a rallying cry for Wall Street bets. He also recently said, Retail investors own more than 80% of the company at the last count, meaning that the non-institutional base now owns a super majority of AMC shares. And at the last earnings call, he said, we work for them, the retail investors. He said, I work for them and their ambitions and passions are important to me. Now, needless to say that this went over really well with the crowd at Wall Street's bed who just say, all right, let's support this guy. And I think this is super, super smart because contrast that with the ex GameStop CEO, George, George Sherman, uh, who stayed largely quiet while his company soared. And in late January, he did not capitalize on this social media move. Let's talk about what are AMC plans here right now. Recently, AMC sold 8.5 million shares to an investment firm called Madrid Capital, which helped the company raise around $230 million. So that is not bad at all. Now, <laughs> here's the, the funny thing. Madrid Capital said, oh my gosh, this stock is heavily overvalued. So we are selling and they sold right away. Now, obviously, if they had hold out, they would have made 500 million dollars but hey <laughs> such is life you never know what the stock does but so this is what's happening right now now as I said they stated the stock is overvalued giving the recent volatility that we see here it's hard to fault them to get rid of the chairs here now this morning today june 3rd this is where madre capital bought them and then sold them right away this morning on june 3rd this is where amc announced that it filed for additional share offerings with the sec and they said it may sell up to 11 million shares from time to time now here is the super interesting thing apparently that time was now because as you can see here on the screen amc has already sold all of the 11.55 million shares today, just after they announced it. And they did it at an average price of $50.85 per share. So this means that today they brought in an additional $587 million. This is in addition to the $230 million that they brought in earlier. Over the quarter, they have raised some more capital so right now, the total capital that they have raised is $1.2 billion. So that's not bad at all. Let's go back to the stock. Let's take a look at the stock and let's just see what is the highest that AM stock has been. So if you look at it, this was actually yesterday. Yesterday, AMC stock made a new all-time high. It rallied just yesterday alone, 95%. And the high was at 72.62 per share. Now, right now is retracing a little bit because AMC has been diluting the shares by selling another 11 million shares. But I mean, they're already sold. It's already done. It's unbelievable. So this is where they gained 3000% year to date, which is clear how much hysteria is around the stock. And 
AMC has now surpassed GameStop's market cap and is clearly the new favorite stock of Wall Street Bets. Now, the question here now is how high will it go? Can AMC actually hit 100,000? And nobody actually knows. By the way, where do I come up with this 100,000? This is what's floating around the internet, especially on the Wall Street Bets forum, where it says AMC 100,000 to the new. Now, it's really hard to give you an actual price target because a short squeeze like this that we have, it's a ticking time bomb. And if you look back into January, right? So let's just go back to January where we had this massive short squeeze right up here where the stock went from $2 to, to $20 in a matter of days and then dropping back within a few days to $6, right? So there could be a downside. You see, there are price targets there of $100,000 per share. Remember, this is all speculation and there are many people who will take advantage of investors feeling the FOMO by pumping out inaccurate information because the 100,000, it's kind of hard to believe. Let me just do some simple math here. If AMC would really go up to $100,000 right now, they have 498 million shares outstanding. So if we do a simple market capitalization here, where we take the 100,000 by 598, this means the market valuation would be around $50 trillion, if I did my math right here, which is more than the entire S&P 500 index, because if you take all of the companies in the S&P 500 index, it's around 35 trillion. Before we take a look, whether you should be investing and whether I'm investing in AMC or not, let's talk about the fundamentals. The key question is, is AMC actually losing money? So let's take a look at the financials here. Yes, they are. So 2020 was a tough year for AMC. So if you look at 2020 right here, you see that they lost $4.5 billion. So that's quite a lot because they had to close their theaters. So they have to recover for this. But now the question is, will AMC with a loss like this go out of business? Now, so think about it this way. During the pandemic last year in 2020, streaming services like Netflix, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, Hulu and others gained a lot of momentum and many people upgraded their home theaters. However, I mean, as you know, they have been super smart here. They had a cash infusion of $1.2 billion in cash that is coming out in. So that's a lot of money. You can buy up competitors with this. They can upgrade the theaters and they can invest in their growth. And as COVID restrictions are being lifted here in the US, people are ready to go back to normal. And this includes visiting theaters. So. AMC could be in a good position to stay in business. Now, the question is, will AMC go up tomorrow? Today, they are slightly down, but look at it today. It has been all over the place. Today, prices have been as high as 68.80. They have been as low as 37.66. So as you can see, wild, wild swings. Now. So the question is, will it continue to rise? Now, in their SEC filings for the additional offerings that was filed this morning, they actually said, we believe that the recent volatility in our current market prices reflect market and trading dynamics completely unrelated to our underlying business. And we do not know how long these dynamics will last, meaning how long are the apes at Wall Street bets are interested in squeezing the short. I mean, it can go on for a long time, but the CEO, Adam Aaron warns under the circumstances that we are seeing right now, he says, we caution you against investing in our stock unless you're prepared to incur the risk of losing all or a substantial portion of your investment. So <laughs> this is what he said, investors, AMC tells investors to prepare to lose all of their money if they buy the stock, even though it has an epic rally here. Just keep this in mind. So, but the question is, should I buy AMC shares? And that's the real question. Should you buy right now AMC shares? Is AMC a good buy? Now, think about it this way. 
If any other stocks gained over 3,000% in six months here, would that seem like a good time right now to buy in? You know the famous saying of Warren Buffett. He always says, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. You see, if even AMC itself thinks that the company is overvalued, I would say stay away from this stock. Now, I can, I can guarantee that much of the FOMO investors buying in now are doing so out of greed. I'm not saying, I'm not saying at all that the stock won't continue to rise. Because one thing that we see clearly here with AMC is that Wall Street bets cannot be underestimated. Wall Street bets has certainly rallied a large enough army of 10 million people to keep the momentum going for now. And this could keep going. I mean, you know, the, the diamond hands and paper hands, right? But, but realistically, how much higher can we expect the stock to rise? Let's go back to the charts and take a look at this. Because after last week's gains, most of the move might already be over. And trust me when I say this is not a bag you want to be left holding. So, of course, what about me? Would I buy this stock? Heck no, as you know, I tend to steer clear from volatility and this level of risk because my focus is always on SRC profits and this stands for systematic, repeatable and consistent because if you're investing your hard earned money, I believe there's certainly safer ways to make money than a highly speculatively social media short squeeze. I will link to a video somewhere here or in the description or in the chat to mytradingroutine.com. So that's a video that I did where I show what exactly I do. So the question is right now, if you want to buy shares, how could you buy AMC shares? Because at the end of the day, this of course is up to you. If you still want to buy AMC shares, all you need to do is log onto your brokerage and just decide how many shares you want to buy. So this is my brokerage account here. And if I wanted to go long AMC and if I wanted to trade, I don't know, like uh, 10,000 stocks, you see, that is something easy that I could do right now. So all you need to do, log into your platform, you can do this. However, you see, with a stock that exhibits as much volatility as AMC does, you, you may want to consider entering a stop loss to protect yourself from the downside, which almost always comes faster than you think.